guys my top 10 favorite Christmas movies of all time and honestly this is a perfect video for me to do because like all I do is watch movies and edit videos when I'm editing videos I watch movies I love movies I've seen so many movies hello my sweetie the sun's going down right now so this is happening on the wall and it actually is like creating a sunset behind me I was like mad about it but it actually looks super cute my next video tomorrow was before this one so the sun was like super bright and annoying so tomorrow's video is gonna be have that but this one's way prettier so tomorrow's gonna suck today's better <laughs> I saw I want to say Zoella do this a while ago maybe last Christmas and it's just always been something in the back of my head that I felt like I really wanted to do so that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today because I love watching Christmas movies like all month long Christmas Eve I watch so many Christmas movies it just gets me in the spirit so please leave it in the comment section down below what your favorite or favorite Christmas movies are number 10 Krampus now this came out a few years ago and a lot of people hated it and said it was a terrible movie they really didn't like it by Krampus so Krampus basically is a horror movie but to me it was like a horror comedy like there was parts that were like scary and thrilling but it was also funny as well so basically it's like a demonic Santa <laughs> so he's basically the opposite of Santa Claus and he punishes people in the Christmas season I know people are gonna be like Christmas is supposed to be like fun and jolly like why are you talking about like punishing and bad evil demons <laughs> Honestly, I just really like the movie. Now, I've seen on Netflix another movie called Krampus, and it's not the same one I'm talking about. So mine is this version right here. So instead of, like, giving kids coal for Christmas, this is, like, a Krampus beast that comes in. He's, like, a half demon, half goat or something like that. He has horns. I'm not sure. But that's that. It's a really good movie, I think, but a lot of people hated it. Went to the theaters and watched it, and a lot of people were like, this is the worst movie ever. <laughs> Number nine, This Christmas. A very underrated one, I feel. A lot of people don't bring this movie up, and I love it. So it's basically about a big family getting together for Christmas, but it's hilarious. Chris Brown's in it, and I really love Chris Brown. I just watched his documentary recently, not Christmas, but I just watched his documentary, and I felt like it really told the story that not a lot of people see, because everyone just associates him with certain things. But to actually get like an in-depth thing, like I just really like Chris Brown. I like his music. I think he's very talented, and he's been around forever and ages. Anyway, so it's basically just about a big extended family that comes all together. I love Regina King. She's in it as well. She's one of my favorite actresses. I really did enjoy that movie. I just like the whole atmosphere of it. Number eight, the original Frosty the Snowman. And it's not a movie. I'm pretty sure it was a Christmas special back in the 60s I want to say honestly guys I don't like cartoons cartoons are not my thing like I've seen like a handful of cartoons throughout my whole life that I like but they're just not me like I like cartoony things but movies and stuff like that I just can't get into but this one is just a classic it honestly reminds me of being at home setting up the Christmas tree literally drinking hot chocolate it's one of the most nostalgic things for me I know I didn't grow up in the 60s but when I was a kid it was always on all the time like almost every single night like I'm not even kidding like it was on what was that sound ah! there's the ghost Krampus is coming <laughs> Krampus is coming to town oh my gosh I didn't sing that <laughs> there's so many Frosty the Snowman remakes and I just am like the original one girl the original like the I can barely hear it because the sound is cracking because it's from the 60s original one number seven is one of my also long time loved movies and that is gremlins now i bet a lot of you are like gremlins isn't a christmas movie it sure is he gets him gizmo for christmas the gremlins take the christmas cookies and it's all like christmasy so it is based it's not really like a christmas movie but it is based in christmas time do you know what i mean so i really love gremlins i've had this for Ever, this like oh my god this is another like horror movie one if you know me you know I love horror movies so this I just had to plug a few horror movies in there because I love them so it is an older one but it is a good one basically the plot is I don't want to give any of these movies away but basically there's this little cute little gizmo I bet you've heard of gremlins or heard of gizmo and you can't get them wet you can't feed them past midnight and you can't expose them to sunlight and if you do they basically turn into these little gremlins here um, and this like that's why it's like a shadow it doesn't because it's still gizmo he doesn't really turn into them he like you have to watch it gizmo still gizmo but anyway so that's that number six this was my favorite christmas movie like all the rest now i probably will have all of the rest of these in dvd forms because these are like my favorite fave. this one was always my favorite movie i had this on vhs in the 90s because it was my favorite one we watched it all the time i love this movie it's with arnold schwarzenegger sinbad is in it too he has to get a action figure for his son and it's like the most hot action figure out there at the moment and he asked for it like a month 
months ago. Our Schwarzenegger is very busy with work and stuff, so he's like, eh, I'll just get it like a week before or something. And the wife's like, you got it, right? Like you got the doll months ago because it's been sold out forever. So it's pretty much him like trying to find this doll, the Turbo Man doll. It's Turbo time. <laughs> It actually has a very good meaning to it. It's hilarious. I love Jingle All The Way. Me and my brother would watch this like on loop at Christmas time. We know all the words to it. Number five, Why Him? <sighs> this is a newer movie and it's with um James Franco. Our family went to see it, I think last year, cause it's like, I think it's a 2016 movie. Last year when it came out for Christmas. I love Brian Cranston. Like he's so good. He's such a great actor. He can play like serious, funny roles. So basically there's a family and the daughter of that family went away and uh, she met this guy who's really rich, but he's kind of like crazy. <laughs> he's very outspoken and loud. The family goes to his house for Christmas and it's like crazy. He's James Franco, so he like never has a shirt on. He swears a lot and this family's not like that. It's a really good movie. It's a comedy. I would definitely give that one a watch if you are of age. It's so good. Number four, I have this on VHS, but I can't find it. But it's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Christmas, like the one with Jim Carrey. I love that movie. I don't think I have to explain what the Grinch is, but for those who don't know what it is, it's kind of like Krampus. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like a Scrooge type guy, a guy that doesn't like Christmas. And he's a, like a creature in this place called Whoville, but he's not in Whoville, he's on Mount Crumpet, is that what it is? Oh my god, I haven't seen it for so long, I need to watch it like this weekend. He's a big hater, he's mad at everything, and everyone's all cheerful and happy, and he's like, Christmas sucks. Cindy Lou Who comes up to him, and she's so sweet, and she makes him like, wanna love Christmas. It's a really, really well done movie. Number three, I'm so mad I don't own, and it's Christmas with the Cranks. Christmas with the Cranks, Tim Allen, Daddy. <laughs> My favorite part of that movie is when he gets like Botox and he can't move his face and like He's trying to drink. I'm like, oh my God, me after lip injections. <laughs> I love Christmas with the Craigs. Basically, it's kind of the same thing as Why Him. They're going away on a tropical vacation because their daughter Blair is away. And then she's like, I have a new boyfriend. I'm coming home for Christmas. And they're like, cool. Like we don't have anything set up. And they always would have like Christmas parties and everything like that. And they didn't have even a tree set up. So they had to like put up a tree, throw a party like super quick in like a day or two like that. So it's kind of just like a crazy rush. It's honestly really touching like what family does for family at Christmas. You know what I mean? Like cancel their tropical vacations just to have like family time at home. I always love that movie for the message and because it's super, super funny. Number two, honestly the greatest movie of all time. I'm questioning my number one choice now. <laughs> this is Four Christmases. Every single boyfriend I've ever had like are forced to watch this movie in like June every month, every day. This is the greatest movie. Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. I usually, not trying to be a hater, don't really like Reese Witherspoon, but she's so good in this movie. Um, so it's basically about a couple that hates their family. <laughs> they don't want to have family interactions because all their parents are divorced and there's too many family things and it's stressful and there's kids. Um, so they want to go away, but then their trips get canceled or wait, like bad weather or something like they can't fly and they were on the news. So all their family was like, oh my God, you can't go on your trip. Come for supper. Like it's Christmas. So they literally have to go to four Christmases because both their parents are divorced. So they go to four, pretty much my life now with Dalton, we have like 12 <laughs> Christmases, but it's so funny because every family is different and they're all just hilarious. <laughs> this one you have to watch, like I swear, I th think it's rated, yeah, it's rated PG, so pretty much everyone can watch it. This is a fantastic movie. It's wonderful. I Okay, I'm not sure to be mean. I watch it up until they get their fight at the end and then I stop watching because it's like not funny anymore. <laughs> And number one is Deck the Halls. Honestly, no, this is my favorite. Like, honestly, these both are my favorite movie, but Deck the Halls, when I first saw it, I was like a addicted. Basically, these two neighbors, Danny DeVito and, uh, I don't wanna look at the name. Oh my God, what's the name? Matthew Broderick. They are competing to see who has the better house light display. And Danny DeVito wants his light seen from space. So <laughs> it's like a light competition. Pretty much. I love this movie also because of the actors are wonderful. It's just funny. These are all like just funny movies. And it's, and it's funny because I don't usually like comedies that much. Like I love horror movies. My favorite comedies are Christmas movies. And that was it, but not really because I do have to also throw in Fred Claus because Fred Claus is such a good movie. It's basically uh, about Santa Claus and he has a brother named Fred. <laughs> Again, Vince Vaughn, but he just is like, cool, my brother's Santa Claus 
what's so special about him? So like everyone loves Santa Claus, right? And then there's like just Fred, like why can't you be like Santa? But it actually is kind of sad. It, you know, it is kind of sad. Ludacris is in it too. And then they all come together for Christmas and then do it together. So it does have a good message at the end. Like family is winning. But family isn't everything. Like I saw this one thing the other day of uh, like what if people don't have family, right? Because you always hear like on oh, Christmas it's all about family. You gotta spend it with family. But what if you don't have a family, right? My advice to you is just make the best out of what you have. If you have a dog, then make that. If you have Christmas cookies, then that's good too. Whatever you have, whatever makes you happy, make sure you follow that. If you have like a best friend who you consider your family, then that's good too. So that's all I have to say is Christmas is, is just about trying to make the best out of everything and trying to be happy and just live life. You know what I mean? So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, leave me your favorite Christmas movies in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!